Hello everyone, this is Sunil Chetty from Informatica. Today I am going to talk about REST interface to BE services topic. Agenda for today's topic BE architecture. I am going to talk about the architecture followed by REST interface to the BE services, what interface we are going to achieve for today's call and then followed by business entity API. I am going to talk about the APIs, how to get the API and how to import it in this OPI followed by demo. This demo will contain uh, UI example where I'll run the UI E36 UI going to create a record and I'm going to show you the, from the back end what kind of request we get but that request how to fire in SOAP UI. The next slide is BS architecture as you can see in the diagram see the top of the diagram we can see the applications in 360 a portal and the third party applications so where it is going to interact with our business entity via SOAP based interfaces or EJB or REST based interfaces. In turn, business entity is going to convert to the base objects and it's going to save the data in the base object level. This slide is the continuation of the architecture. So what this business entity allows? It allows us to define a business entity as a composite and a logical layer in the provisioning tool and it also allows us to maintain the full business entity in a single call that is in one call either it might be a rest call or a jb or a soap call we can going to completely hold the business entity we can go to create or edit or search the record via business entity with these calls business entity services provides a json schema validation for every business entity whatever we have created and it allows us to store the XMLs in the MDM repository manager that is CREPOS COCS config table where we can get all the XML content of composite services uh, either transformation or the searchable objects which you can see the XML data it allows us to import and export the XML content and also validate the repository in the right side you can see the diagram it's just a simple diagram where I'm going to show here API how it's going to interact with our core level so API can be both the way either it can be a SIF endpoints or the CS endpoints CS means composite service endpoints so today we are going to talk about this composite service endpoints how this SOAP and you know the rest call is going to achieve here so all these are like at the end it is going to core level either it might be a read CO or update CO it is going to the put processor and the delete processor or a get processor implementation the next slide is rest interface to BE services uh, as you can see in the diagram, uh, in the left side we have a EJB REST SOAP interfaces which make use of these kind of uh, you know the client or a format or methods. When I say a client, uh, it's mainly suited for a JavaScript where the client can write a JavaScript and they can fire the call, EJB call or REST call or a SOAP call and they have to make sure the formats are in either in JSON or XML. In the REST call, the methods allowed are get, put, post and delete and we have a visuals where customer can get the visuals from the URL cmx slash cs along with the hostname port so that they can download the visual file and we have a URL for mainly for update the business entity so that will be going to be like host followed by port followed by cmx slash cs and the ORS ID is nothing but the data source ID of your ORS followed by business entity name and followed by you can give the word object if you want to search the record so when I say the rest call so the methods are get post put post delete so get means retrieves information at the post whereas you can either create or update put is only used for update the record and the delete is for deleting the record I'll talk about more on post and put in the next slide so what are the differences of put and post and when to use put or when to use post as you can see the action of put is only update whereas post is insert or create and update uh, whereas in put you can update only only single one view that is a single view can be updated if you have a requirement where you have to update parent and child in one ap call then you have to use post you cannot use port you cannot use the put request because basically what happens in put is if you try to update both in one call the child is going to get a new record instead of updating so that's why when this requirement is there then you have to use the post request and the one more difference is uh, whenever you do update in the put request no need to pass the dollar original keyword which is nothing but a change summary whereas in the post you have to pass this parameter 
wherever you are going to update the columns which you are trying to update for those columns you have to give the original keyword the next slide is business entity API you can see uh, the one I run the request with the host name port followed by CMX CS files so basically with this request you are going to get all the ORS whichever you configured in the hub console that ORS you are going to display and each ORS will have either Vadal or Visual along with that we will have a schema standard definition for to this file can be given to the downstream to validate the response or to validate the or to parse the response from the downstream and today we are going to talk about a Vadal and Visual file and I am going to show you that you know this Vadal file which is basically for the REST call and this REST URL how to achieve in the SOAP UI so basically we are going to download this Vadal we are going to import it in SOAP UI and I will show you how to file the request and how to make use of get put or post request the next slide will be the demo now I am going to talk about the demo and I am going to show you how this request can be filed uh, this is the URL uh, where you can give you know the host name and following by port with the CMX class CS files okay so you'll get uh, as I told you in the presentation right uh, you're going to get you know how many ORS you have in your configured so that many section you get in this particular web page so now I have two ORS that one is with MS that is MDM sample ORS okay so what I'm going to look into is this Vadal file so this Vadal file is for to fire the rest call I click on this Vadal file so that I'll get a new URL for this Vadal file I'll just copy this you know the Vadal file and this I'm going to import in a SOAP UI I will show you in SOAP UI how to import it okay, as you can see in the SOAP UI just click on the rest and you click on this import Vadal and you have to provide this URL okay this URL has to be provided and just you have to click on OK so that Vadal project is going to save in this SOAP UI so already I did it for you uh, you can see that you know this PDBM project with MDM sample that is the you know project which I have created with that URL okay so once you import it here so you can see that uh, there are as many business entity you have right so all the BS configured here so I already told you right the business entity is something which you can gives the you know complete allow you to maintain the entity service so these are the services which we are going to maintain the business our business entity now I'll take an example of person so I'll just open this person you know the project with a post uh, create person request or something like this I'm going to click on the request okay this new request I'm going to create click on new click on new request okay so if you can see this uh, if you see this you know the endpoint is the host name in the port and the resource is cmxcs the ors id for the person system name sfa so now this uh, I have configured the system name that's why I have SFA if you are in different system system name you can configure it and you can see that below we have a media type called JSON okay now you got this okay now we have to import the JSON like you know you, you need a syntax right how to create a record okay for that you can refer the guide as well or else the simple thing is you can go to the UI you can try to create a record from the back end you can get the content JSON content so that it helps you to you know to understand the format and all okay now I'll show you how to get that content JSON content or a request from the UI as you can see this in E360 view I opened the person view I'm going to create a record with uh, Sunil as the name here and before click on save open the network debug tool so there's a network debugger tool which you can you know go through all the backend requests so click on that uh, click on the right click inspect then you get a developer tool so where you can click on this network tab and just you know if you have anything you can just clear it out and just make sure that you enable the preserve log here and then go back to your uh, E360 UI screen and now just click on save so the moment you click on save in the back end what all requests got fired will be stored in the developer tool okay the record got saved now we'll go and see the developer tool in this debugger tool you can see that you know there is a person view with system name is equal to SFA with you know the post request so this is a request right which we saw in the SOAP UI right for this is a request post you're going to see the the payload you know you can see the view source click on the view source and you can get the JSON content so you can see right the first name last name and ethnicity type Bengaluru 
so we got this request right with this request we are going to going to you know display this json in our soap ui right so let me take an example of person from where you know the ui i show you right uh, how to get the json content so that content we are going to paste it here okay so i have an other examples so that i will show that examples so one by one with you know the post request put and get request let me open the post request okay so first thing we have to convert it to the media type as to application json and uh, I think yeah, it is okay yeah, now it's a person media type should be json and the system name should be given uh, I think we have a predefined you know the parameters yeah we have a system name we'll give admin okay and then what else yeah authentication has to be given which is a basic authentication okay authentication is completed now i have to paste the json content of post request so which is going to create a new record as you can see this json request uh, the first name is john a party type is a person and we have a child called email and where i'm going to update the electronic address sorry i'm going to create a electronic address name at the red mail dot com i'm just going to run this request okay see we got a response so just make a note of uh, row id object of parent and you know the row ID object of a child as well which is a 431 so this 441942 I'm going to show you the record using get request if I go to the get request of a read person I'll open this you can see the person ID right where I can give this value let me copy this 441942 let me go to this request yeah so let me select the depth as well so where it will give the child ok uh, I need to give authentication I'm going to run this request see I got a response right I see you can see there is a person John and you know the row video object 431 for the email we have a name at the right mail.com which means that record got saved okay uh, now let me show you how to update this record okay what if I want to update this John from a different name okay then we need to open this put request open the request in the request select the JSON okay see we have already have you know the person right double four one nine four two so now I'm just going to print the JSON content I have pasted the JSON content. Uh, if you can see this request, right? I'm just going to update, you know, the first name with William for this particular record, double four nine four two. And you might have observed here we are not passing original value, dollar original, right? Which is a change summary that I already told you that in the put request it is not needed. So I'm going to fire this request. So before that, I need to pass with what system name it has to update. I'm just giving admin as a system name, and I'm going to run this request. See, uh. If you see right, it got updated double four one nine four two with first name William. If you want to see that, just go to the request get request and see. Uh, we'll just try to run the request. See earlier it was the John right. Now just now we updated with wi William. Okay, so let me run this request. See it got updated to William. Okay, this is an example for put request on the parent level. Uh, now let me show you how to update the same thing in post request. Okay, because post request needs original value okay let me take an example for post request okay uh, see I have copied this JSON content if you see this JSON content so I have a first name William John this is a new rec new value I'm going to update with the original first name is a William okay now we're going to see as a William John and I'm also trying to update child as well if you can see here for electronic address the original value was name at the rate mail.com and I'm giving name change at the rate gmail.com okay I just ran the request and you can see the response here it got updated you know double four one nine four two four three four three one you can see this so what we'll see in the get request see what we have done here is uh, we might have we now once we do the get request we should see the William John in the first name and we should see the email as name at the right changed at the right mail.com okay let me go to the get request 
let's fire the request again so you can see right there is a william and you know name at that mail.com this is going to update now see you can see the william john it got updated right with the william john so i think yeah we need to just remove this okay so can you see this uh, with the william john it got updated okay if you want to see the email you know how it got updated so let me i think yeah so it should be depth two should be here yes perfect see we can see the electronic address name at the rate name change at the rate mail.com okay so this is how we can see right with the post request we can do both parent and child update yeah this is an example for this you know demo where i show you that uh, uh, how to fire a put and post and get request so you can go through the business entity guide uh, or service guide where you have other examples to fire this request so try once with all the you know examples for that you also can you know use your ui if you want to get the complete json content so which i pasted here right that's i got from the ui backend so just go to the ui and get the content and paste it in the soap ui so this will work okay, this is the demo part which i have completed now so we would love to hear from you uh, support videos at that inform.com or in the either in the twitter so let us know how you like this video and you can give us a feedback on this uh, thank you